Be family and friends are well. So yesterday, I listened to Steve Vai's "Flexible," which I haven't listened to for quite a long time, to be honest. And there's quite a few songs in that on there I like. I like "Salamanders in the Sun," um, "Call Me Junkie," and um, obviously you've got the "Attitude" song and "Little Green Man." And it's not a bad album actually. And I thought, well, what if I could try and replicate something sort of Vai-ish on the Tour Master Pro? So I came up with three audio examples, which you've already heard. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over, because what I've done is I've, I've created um, three foot switch signs, foot switch, foot switch, foot switch signs. So what I'll do is the first track you heard is using uh, what I call, is called a British foot switch sign. And we're just using these, these effects. And what we're doing is also is a popping on the swell and the boost. Uh, the next one. Is, I call this one, call this one JC Custom. I'm using those effects. And also what I'm doing on that is I'm actually popping on the swell and boost again. Uh, the next one, I'm using the space um, foot switcher sign, which has added me a few more effects and it sounds really nice. Now, what I could have done is I could have added the swell and the boost, but I didn't bother because you don't want to keep hearing swell and boost all the time anyway. Um, but you could, I mean, it, it, that's fine. Um, or in fact, you could just use the whole lot of them. Uh, the problem that is the two amps don't sound great together. They really don't. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over the effects now. Um, but what we'll do is we'll do it by foot switch assign. And we'll do it that way. So obviously the first one we'll look at is this one. And this is the first effect we've used in this uh, foot switch assign. We go. Let's move to our amp. This is a this is a really good amp. Um, I mean, what hopefully when we get another firmware update from Fender, we might get some more effects. But what we've got already is actually pretty good, to be honest. What we've got collection of effects and amp heads and so on and so on, and not not bad. But we could do some new stuff really with the next update. So if you if you ever do watch these videos, Fender, uh, if you can give us some more effects, that would be brilliant. These are the settings I've used for this particular combo. Oh, sorry, half stack. the cabinet um, by default I think the, the setting is something round about there I think or maybe there and I just decided to play about it it sounded okay there it sounded a bit better there actually so the settings of use for the uh, British half stack uh, next effect is our chorus we don't really need to really dig, dig down to this one because the fact is we're just using that setting um, Got the next effect, which is the nebula. This is a, actually really a nice reverb. And there we go. Uh, when you pop on the swell and boost. Uh, the settings I've used for the swell and boost, for the swell actually. Um, it's just a matter of playing about with this. Um, but it does, does sound pretty good actually. Uh, next effect is the boost. Nothing exciting on there, but there we go. That's the setting we've used. Our next uh, foot switcher sign is a JC Custom.
here's the bright on this one as well. Um, cabinet and again I, I changed this and I, I did move it a few it's, it's actually quite remarkable because you know the, the the way you move this around it does actually affect the overall sound as it would if you record it in the studio anyway but um, it does make a little bit of difference uh, these are all left as they were by default um, and I just thought it sounded okay without changing anything actually um, let's look at that There we go. You swell up another swell effect. Uh, not an exciting on this one. <laughs> uh, it's got our next chorus. I am using three choruses actually, and it does it does make a difference. It really does. This is quite a nice effect actually. Uh, I'm being a bit quick because it, 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 I don't want this to be quite a long video for you really to sit through and have a look at. Um, and again, popped on the swell and boost, but we don't really need to look at the settings because we've already looked at the settings actually. And the next one really is. JC custom and space. So all there is won't put the JC custom on. But let's knock that off and just put the space on. So we'll look at the effects on the space. Preset uh, foot switch assign. I mean this is a this is quite a nice effect as well uh, that we've got. We've already seen the settings for this anyway, so we'll just pop these and look at these again. And as you can see, the, the ones I've chosen. Um, same thing with Nebula. We don't need to look at the Nebula because nothing's changed. However, we've got this one, and this is this is a really really nice reverb. This is I quite like this reverb actually. The settings we use this reverb. Uh, well, we'll also look at, we'll have a look, so we are using um, this one. We're looking at this, this signal path, as you can see, because obviously when we go back to there, you can see that they're both split. So yeah, so our first um, audio example is called, I'm using JC Custom and Space, and it sounds quite nice. So um, I hope you enjoy this. So if you like this, click on the like button, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, because I've, I've got a lot more stuff coming out. I've created a hell of a lot of patches with various different types of music and artists and some things with some really, really weird sounds in as well. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so people have subscribed. Thank you very much. Um, I've had the Tone Master for a month, over a month now, actually. 
And I'm still I'm still blown away. I mean, I'm still finding things that that actually really helpful. I mean, after this recording this video, I'm going to jump back on the nylon strings. So I'm creating sets because I'm going to do some performances in the new year, some live performances just using the Tone Master. Um, what I am going to get in the next couple of weeks is uh, I'm going to get the cabinet. I'm going to get the Tone Master, Tone Master cabinet. At the moment, I'm using it with the head rush FRFI 108, and that sounds pretty good, but I fancy... You know, I fancy uh, going for the uh, Fender cabinet and um, we'll see how that sounds like as well. So thanks again for watching. Yeah, if you like, click on the little like um, hand or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll create some stuff soon. So bye-bye uh, for now.